afternoon how are you guys out there in the crypto trenches out in the battlefields <laughs> what a day historic day look at the low of bitcoin on coinbase what was this what candle uh three hours ago 10 past two british british standards time utc gmt oh my word what a day what a day but uh let's just keep things in perspective eh? what day is this the 19th for may uh i still believe bitcoin operates on a four-year cycle correct so let's look at may 19th 2017 what was the price of bitcoin on the 19th, 2017, open 1899, high of 1980, close at 1976. Uh, how did it end the year? By doing another 10x. By doing another 10x. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, is our 30,000 in 2021? Uh, 2,000 back in 2017. 15x higher. Uh huh. 15x higher. Um, a 10x from 2000 took us to 20. I can't, I don't think we can do a 10x of 30,000, but we probably can do a 5x, right? A 6x, maybe a 7x, 100k, 150k, 180k. I am still calling for six figure Bitcoin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Unless, uh, because it is such a battle. It is such a brutal day. Um, you got to remember, uh, as the great military leaders have, you know, as they document war, they come up with some great sayings. I remember, uh, what's the most famous one? No guts, no glory. Uh, but let's have a quick look. Uh, I'm going to Google on my phone military leader quotes. Uh, let's see what I find. Uh, military generals. Military generals. Quotes. And let's see what I find. Okay. Winston Churchill. We sleep safely at night because rough men stand ready to visit violence on those who, who would harm us. George Coleman, praise the bridge that carried you over. Oh, this is a good one. David G. Fadigat, damn the torp torpedoes, full speed ahead. <laughs> uh, Dwight D. House Eisenhower, I know he's got some classics. Here we go, here we go. Neither a wise nor a brave man lies down on the tracks of history to wait for the train of the future to run over him. What is the future of Bitcoin? I believe higher. Leadership is the art of getting someone else to do something you want done because he wants to do it. Uh, mm, mm, mm. David Hackworth. This applies to crypto and uh, chicanery uh, and uh, shenanigans that go on. David Hackworth, if you find yourself in a fair fight, you didn't plan your mission properly. Are the whales snapping up Bitcoin? Well, it's at 37. It tagged 30. Uh, Heraclitus. <laughs> what a name, Heraclitus? <laughs> <laughs> maybe some greek athenian warrior out of every 100 men 10 shouldn't even be there 80 are just targets 
nine are the real fighters, and we are lucky to have them, for they make the battle. Uh, but the one, the one is a warrior, and, and he will bring the others back. Wow. Maybe he's like a Spartan. Yeah, it must be, right? Amazing. Yeah, and trading, what's the death rate? <laughs> 83%? <laughs> is that spot on? He is spot on. Douglas MacArthur, whoever said the pen is mightier than the sword, obviously never encountered automatic weapons. It is fatal to enter a war without the will to win it. And here, here we are, some from George S. Patton Jr. Uh, I wonder what his senior was like. His father must have been a heck of a man. So here's George Patton. If you don't know, he was the general for U.S. forces during WW2. Live for something rather than die for nothing. Lead me, follow me, or get the hell out of my way. Wow, good one. Mm. No good decision was ever made in a swivel chair. Yeah. Mm. Oliver Hazard Perry. We have met the enemy and they are ours. Ooh, Colin Powell had a real not good one. Perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. Yeah, yeah. Stormin Norman Swarskoff Jr. The truth of the matter is that you always know the right thing to do. The hard part is doing it. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh. Arthur Wellesley, first Duke of Wellington. I don't know what effect these men will have upon the enemy, but by God, they terrify me. Harry S. Truman, a leader is the man who has the ability to get other people to do what they don't want to do and like it. And last one from William uh, William Sherman. Mm -hmm. War is hell. That definitely applies to crypto trading and being in the markets, right? Some days war is hell and trading is hell. So I hope you guys have been doing okay. Um, like I said... 30,000 could be the old 2000 back in 2017. We're still doing four year cycles. Has that not changed? Are we still operating on a stock to flow model? Um, I believe so. I believe so. So, interesting. This low 28.732. We did not take it out. Uh huh. And where do we end the day? Where do we end the day? If we end up in the 40s, wow, and you missed the opportunity to get in. Boy, that would be some sort of candle. Where is the current price here? So anywhere above here, you're talking about a huge hammer. A huge hammer, right? It's already forming one. But as we push up, 38, 39. What if we go positive? The day is too young. It's only midday in New York. It's only midday in New York. So we will watch and wait together. Um, how is my Litecoin position doing? <laughs> I got decimated, yeah. Sure did, sure did. Uh, will I be putting any more in? No, probably not, probably not. Um, you know, but you never know. Uh, you never know. Um, I'll be watching and waiting. Uh, yeah, I didn't have any stops. It's open position. But wow, look at the light coin. Tag 142. This is an old... Oh my god. It tagged this. 2019 top. <laughs> Are you seeing this? We have a perfect W. Including all this action... You've basically mirrored it. December, January, basically six months. 
Holy moly. So, how would this play out on the flip side? How would this play out on the flip side? How long will it take to get over 413? Um, maybe come up to 323. Maybe come back down to 250. And then launch. I'm still believing Litecoin does 2000. That will be a 10x minimum. 2000 is a minimum for me. Uh, not because I need to, need it or want it, but I just surely, surely am very confident that it will do this. And what is this? Oh, this is got like another key line identified. Like one of those, there are certain levels. So what is this? Yeah. There are certain levels. You can just, you see this, that prices will always come back to and interact with. You could even draw one there, right? And so coming back and tagging this 142 is, for me, bullish. It's a confirmed break and test, right? Confirmed break and test. This was interacting with it. This never really tagged it, but this, today's action. <sighs> and if you draw... A, obviously, just just this pattern alone takes us to what eight hundred thirty-three, almost touching distance of a thousand, almost as a touching distance of a thousand. So when does it get there? I don't know, but it's we see a four-figure Litecoin this year for certain. I am. Guaranteeing it to you. <laughs> I'll take it to the bank. <laughs> take it to the bank. Uh, if this chart doesn't just get you too messant, look it up. Look up that word. Uh, I don't know what doesn't. I mean, if you're looking for ideal entry point, the hardest time to buy is at this point, right? Which means you're probably going to miss this opportunity. Oh, boy. BTC candle was almost up here. So I believe we probably can see Litecoin close at 250 odd. We shall see. We'll see how the day plays out. We have seven more hours in London. Seven more hours of London time. So, um, well, XMR, 32%. It's been a savage day. It's been a savage day indeed. Um, Ethereum, what was the low on Coinbase? Again, tested 2,000. And where are we now? 2,700. 2,000 is a key level, right? As a psychological level. What was the low? Uh, what was the low on this candle? Um, no, 1900. Wow, you know, there was some smart money with huge bids there, and maybe they were tipped off. Mm -hmm. Maybe they engineered this uh fall. You never know. Like I said, crypto is completely un unregulated, uh, and I think Elon is. How would I describe it? How would I describe his actions? Um, underhand slightly, but in the long run, he knows he will get more clout if he can get Bitcoin up to 100k. <laughs> Rather than than killing a nascent industry. He knows what he's doing, I believe. Um, it may seem erratic, but the erraticness of his tweeting is... Uh, as proven by history, uh, as proven by his history and with the SEC and the Tesla stock, um, wow, wow, look where Tesla ended up. So, like I said, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, trading is war, trading is war. But you guys are still in the white industry, um, like I said before. 
Litecoin, May 19th. Where were we? Where were we? Hundred bucks. So it's a double from four years ago. It's been a laggard, actually. It's been a laggard, this uh, bull one. He hasn't got the love. It See, the bottom was at 80. Oh, this is Ethereum. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Ethereum's obviously done great, but what was Litecoin? I believe in May 2017, you're looking at maybe a $20 Litecoin. Let's have a look. Uh, $30 Litecoin. Nope. Look at this, three, four dollars. May. May, May. Oh, can I get it exactly? Twenty nine dollars. So it's all kind of making sense now. Ten times twenty nine is three hundred. Um, Bitcoin was what? 2,000 times 15 is 30,000. Ethereum, at this time, four years ago, with all this action still to come, we didn't have a blow-off top. That's what I'm trying to get at. We did not have a blow-off top. We had a rounding top, a head and shoulders top, uh, a bleed-out. Remember, this topping action has been going on in Bitcoin for or since May. No, it's February. I'm sorry. So May 2017. 120. Where are we at now? 2,700? 20x. So Bitcoin up 15. Ethereum up 20. And Litecoin uh, was Litecoin l lagging? Litecoin seems to be a laggard. Wait, 32. Yeah, we're up like mm, seven or eight times above this, right? Because <clears throat> it's just a digital asset. It hasn't got a network ecosystem around it right um but i think that will change i think the narrative of digital gold digital silver will change when gld starts breaking out when gld starts taking out on 194 uh gld could still have a monster run uh for next two three years and monster in terms of gold, you know, getting up to two poor, 250, 300, something like that. Anyway, I shall leave it there. I shall leave it there. Um, yeah, be brave, people. It's not the time to fud out and sell out. Definitely not. You do not want to be looking back in a few months' time and looking at this day and thinking to yourself, if only I'd been braver. You know, if only I'd been braver. So... Yeah, peace. I'm out. Balaji.